Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the number of letters, the number of digits, the number of spaces, and the number of other things other than these letters, digits, and spaces in the given input statement. Let's say the user has inputted or entered one statement. Let's say the statement looks something like this. Are the three symbols, are the three symbols. This is a statement, yes. This is an English statement that user has entered into the program. Now, using our Java program, we need to find out the number of characters, okay? Number of characters. How many characters are there? Can you count? How many characters in this uh, given example text? This is not a character, guys. This is a symbol. Dollar is a symbol, percentile is a symbol, hash is a symbol. These are not characters. So coming to this one, A, R, E. These are characters, three characters. Four, five, six. Three is not a character. It's a number, so skip it. So for six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Total number of characters is, the given text is 13. Now, number of numbers. How many numbers are there in this given statement? Everything is a character or a symbol except this number three. Only one, one thing is a number. Number of digits, you can say. Okay, digits or numbers, whatever, is one. In the given text, number of digits or numbers is one. Now, the number of spaces. How many spaces are there in this given text? How many spaces are there in this given text? Can you see? This is one space, second space, third space, fourth space. Number of spaces is equal to four. Number of spaces is four. Done. Next thing. Next thing is number of other things. Apart from these characters, digits, and spaces, what are the other things we have? These symbols, guys. How many symbols are there? One, two, three. So total three symbols are there. Number of other things is equal to three. Total three. So this is how we need to get the output, guys. If the user enters this particular string text or string statement, we need to print out the output. The number of characters is equal to something, number of digits is equal to something, number of spaces is equal to something, and number of other things is equal to three. Kind of thing we need to print in the output. Now let me practically write down a Java program doing the same. So here we'll first intake the input that is string text from the user. For that, we need to use a scanner class. We need to create an object for the scanner class. Using that, we can intake the required string text into this program. So hold the mouse on the scanner and uh, import the scanner class from java.util package. And this constructor cannot be empty. So inside this constructor provide system.in representing the input, done. Now we need to specify the user to enter. We need to mention the user to enter a string text. So enter any English, uh, enter any string text. Like this we need to provide. So that by looking at this text, user will enter kind of string text. In this example, I showed you, this is a string text that user may enter. So let's say user is trying to enter this drawler percentile hash are the three symbols. This is something that, this is some kind of example string text that user may enter. When user enters this kind of string text, we need to intake that into our Java program. How to intake this particular text entered by the user into our Java program? For that, we need to use this object reference scanner and say dot next line, scanner dot next line. So this will intake this particular string text given by the, entered by the, inputted by the user. So this is nothing but uh, some str I will say for now. Over the mouse, create local variable. Now, before moving forward, what I will do is, I will convert this string into the character array. Because I want to check each and every character of the string text. I want to check each and every character of the string text to find out whether this particular thing is a symbol or if it is a number or it is a character or if it is a space like that, even including this one. Okay, I want to check character by character. For that reason, I want to convert this particular string text into a character array. How to convert? Copy this str, say dot. There is a command that is to care array. There is a method or command that is 
string method or command that is two character array two care array just select that when you use this particular two care array with the string thing it will convert this particular string into the character array over the mouse on two care array you see the return type is character array now here i will say ca is equal to short form ca stands for character array kind of thing over the mouse create local variable you see we got the character array now we will iterate through each and every character of this character array this particular string text is converted into the character array which consists of individual characters okay in this particular given string including the spaces now we will iterate through each and every character of this character array how to do that by using for each loop for character c colon ca like this okay for character c colon ca so in this for each loop i'll check every time i will check whether this particular character is a number or is a character or is a space otherwise if it is not none of them it will be a symbol kind of thing or other thing fine so how to check that i'll write down if uh if this particular character dot is digit okay this character class has some predefined methods that is it is digit is digit is digit of character select this one and provide this c here done if it is a digit what we have to do if this particular character is a digit then here i will say system dot out dot print ln okay not like that i will i will do one thing here i will provide something like uh, into digits digit count this is okay in digits is equal to initially it will be zero here i will say digit plus plus okay that means this will be incremented by one digits plus plus sorry okay then else if else if this particular character is a character kind of thing how to check that character dot is we have something like uh, is letter okay is letter if it is a letter we have to provide c here like this so this is going to be the int letter letter c is equal how many letters are there initially we'll we'll put the letters to zero and if uh, any other any character of this particular given string text has some letter thing we'll increment that by one so here i'll say letters plus plus it will be incremented by one else if this particular character is a space how to check that we have to write character class dot is here is a command like e space command e space of character okay you have to give this uh, character c here done this character c i am providing here e space if it is space so it's a deprecated uh, i think we have to use some other thing is is e space care okay this one if this is not working you can go with this one is space care of ch is there okay let's go with this one provide c here done this is working is space care is working if it is digit or if it is letter letter means a is a letter r is a letter digit means this three is a digit number or digit okay is space care means this space this is a space so we are going through each and every character of this particular string text and uh, if that particular character is a digit we are incrementing the digits if that particular uh, thing is a letter we are incrementing the letters if that particular thing is a space then we are incrementing the spaces so here i will say int spaces int spaces how many spaces initially spaces is equal to 0 when really a space encountered in this particular given string text then i will increment that by spaces plus plus like this now if it is not a digit if it is not a letter if it is not a space then it should be the other thing like symbol or something okay can be symbol or something if else simply else guys there is no condition else we will say int other others others is equal to 0 here i will say in case of that if it is not if the taken character out of this string text is not a digit not a letter not a space it should be we should increment others by 1 that's it 
So once entire thing is done or iterated through this uh, for each loop, character by character, we have iterated in this for each loop to check whether each and every thing is a digit or letter or space or any other thing. Once we got that, once we are done with this for each loop, then I'll print out the things. So how to print out system dot out dot print ln number of digits in the given string text is how many are there? This digits, nothing but digits. Just print out the digits. And uh, system dot out dot print ln number of letters, number of letters in the given string text. Letters in the given string text is plus letters done. Letters is also done. Now system dot out dot print ln number of spaces in the given string text is you have to print out the spaces plus spaces done and finally system dot out dot print ln number of symbols or other things other than this uh, digits letter signs spaces in the given string text is plus you have to print out these others like this we are done guys we are done with the logic but uh, before i run this particular program here you see there is a warning coming saying resource leak of this scanner object so whenever you create an object for the scanner class as a best practice after intaking the required things simply try to close it okay just close it it's not mandatory guys it's as part of the best practices we need to close the unused objects after the use is done we need to close the unused objects so whenever we get such kind of warnings better to close the objects which result in resource leaks fine now let's run this program right click run as java application you see we'll give the same thing hash colon uh, hash percentile uh, dollar percentile hash are the three symbols the same text i will enter as a user the same string text i will enter dollar percentile hash are the three symbols and press enter. Immediately when you press enter, you see the number of digits in the given string text. How many digits are there? These are our other things. These are letters. These are letters, but this one is only the digit. Only one is there. So one digit. Number of letters in the given string text. How many letters are there? These are not letters, but these are letters. Three, four, five, six. This is not a letter. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Total 13. Yeah, it's matching. Now, number of spaces in the given string text. Space one, space two, space three, space four. Total four. Yeah. Number of symbols or other things in the given string text. Other things are nothing but these three things. So three. You see, our program is working fine. So hope guys, you understood how to print the number of letters, digits, spaces, and other things in the given inputted string text or statement. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.